we're going to look at a use case scenario of using the throw feature in the classroom. We're discussing parallelograms, and as we see above, it is defined for us. What we want to do is find a sample image that students can relate to. So I'm going to do a Google search for a parallelogram, use the image search, and drag this image onto my canvas. I'm going to close my browser and then enlarge by dragging or pinching this object. So now students can relate to a parallelogram. What I want to have happen now is students throw a real life image of a parallelogram to me. So what they need to do is go to this website, myvboard.com slash vsblake. I got this because of my unique name and when I click it, it gives me this website. As an example for you, I'm actually going to go to a new incognito window to that website, myvboard.com slash vsblake. When the page loads, the first thing it's going to ask is for a student name. In this case, I'm going to name it Demo and confirm. As you can see here, I have a couple options. One that we're going to focus on is throw. So I can upload this file from my menu. Once I go to my downloads folder, I can find the eraser, the object that represents a parallelogram. I click open and it says sending. It says the job has been sent. As the instructor, I can see that I have a one here. This will launch the throw feature, which can be found in the magic box. When I select throw, I can see that the student demo has thrown this image that I can use as part of my demonstration. This is also a way that a teacher can get images from their devices onto the panel or onto the software that can be used instructionally. I hope you find this feature of throw valuable.